Okay, so now we're going to talk about time considerations for accounts. So Hopefully, I can get everything here in frame. Nah, you guys are really smart. You can figure it out. We're just talking about how businesses consider time. And honestly, I feel like you all get it already, but I do not want to be that guy that just leaves things to chance and assumes, oh, I don't have to go over this. So I remembered that, uh, you know, especially when you watch the news, you hear things like, oh, the quarterly report or the biannual XYZ, whatever XYZ means. Um, and then you hear things like the calendar year, the fiscal year a lot. I mean, if you hear fiscal cliff, that's just the news just trying to be dramatic about things that you technically don't really have to worry about. And... That's not the point of this video. Uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with business. So let's just go right back to time considerations for accounts. So just think fiscal year, not fiscal cliff, fiscal year, calendar year. Now let's start breaking down what this means. And whenever you, we talk about periods, how do we separate these periods? Because remember, we want to be standard, okay? We want to be able to follow, uh, we want to be able to follow set guidelines so that when I look at your financial reports or your financial statements and I look at someone else's I'm able to compare apples to apples so part of the part of the characteristic that make apples apples will be the time so if we say a monthly report January to December all 12 months of the year as man has decided to divide time if we say monthly it's m1 m2 all the way to m12 Jeez, Louise, my handwriting is atrocious well I, let's blame the markers i didn't use a fine point marker which i should have but it says m1 all the way to m12 and those are the monthly reports so m2 would just be february m3 would be march and it's just a monthly report so period if we're looking at a income statement and we know that it's we're looking monthly it's going to be from january 1st to January 31st. That simple. Now, if we look at quarterly reports, it's going to take a whole three month chunk. So, January to March, April to June, July to September, October to December. That's how that works. This is quarterly. We divide um, the quarter, obviously, cuatro, four. We divide the year into four parts and we get three months each. And that's Q1, Q2. Q3, Q4. All right? And then we have biannually. Bi, two, dos. So we have H1, H2. And that's just separating the periods biannually. It's that simple. And then annually, obviously, is just this one big line, which is just, you know, the year. So speaking of annually, we have the year. I don't want to be all smug about it, but we have we can have a calendar year, which just means January to December. 31st, January 1st, December 31st, that's the calendar year, but the fiscal year, what does that mean? Why doesn't it mean the same thing? Well, that's basically saying from March to the other March, or counting the year after March. So April, counting year to, I'm counting year after April. If we start in May, the fiscal year would be counting year forward from May, okay? So the calendar year starts in January. The fiscal year, you get to determine if you want to have hey, the fiscal year from July. It's a year after July. So counting forward from July. Calendar year, stuck with January being the beginning because that is what we as man and humanity have decided is going to be the first month of the year. So the calendar year is going to start with January. The fiscal year is more flexible. It's going to start with whatever you know, what you've decided to actually scrutinize. So if, if you want to actually judge your success from this May to next May, it's going to be a fiscal year. All right? And that's it. That's the difference between the calendar year and the fiscal year. This, that's how we break up the periods. And um, this is what makes up the time considerations for accounts. January to December, we have monthly periods, quarterly period, biannual period, annual period. And now we understand what the calendar year um, where it starts from and we understand that the fiscal year has some flexibility calendar year no flexibility starts in january ends december and fiscal year is pick a month and we just say a year forward from that month the end thanks